Yeah, mate. Raring to go. Back for another mission down south. Here's hoping we need some deer heart. Another wee adventure. Can't complain. Someone has the fun job of taking this truck and the trailer over to Milford for us in a few days' time. We get all the glory. Or I guess. <laughs> oh, it's been a year and a half since the last mission we did around Stewart Island and yeah. We busted for a trip, we thought about this one at the time, but um, yeah, we've been waiting for them to build a new model, so Doug's been involved in that. What have we got here, Doug? So this is a 2250 Ultra Cab walkthrough. So a slight variation to the walk around, it's got the uh, door in the front here, so we can go through the middle. It gives us a bit more um, room in the cab, uh, get the whole family in there, so it's good. It's gonna be quite handy up the coast. Uh, we're gonna well, hopefully get a deer or two this trip, so pop out the front with the binos and have a wee search, so yeah. Gonna be good to test it out. What do you reckon, Dwayne? Yeah, it'll be good idea for what we're gonna do. Yeah, definitely. Cheers to Stavey for letting us thrash it again. <laughs> put two meatheads in charge of it. <laughs> <laughs> we're definitely gonna put it to its, through the ringer. There's no doubt about that. Put it through its paces yeah, though. Yeah, we'll definitely buddy. Yeah, we've got a pretty good forecast, but there is gonna be some swell out there at times. So um, this, yeah, sure to be the odd little rough bit, so. Yeah, so the plan for this trip, we're basically, uh, we've just, just launched into a lake, um, Lake Manapuri. So we've got to go across on that, and then uh, there's vehicles and trailers that you can uh, get a hold of, and they take you up and over into Doubtful Sound, and that's sort of halfway down Fiordland. Um, so we're going to launch out of there and head up the coast to Milford. So it's a pretty big, epic adventure. We've got um, fishing, diving, hunting, plenty to do, and we've got a couple of nights. So we're going to stay on the dock huts, moor up or anchor up, swim in. Someone's going to have papers as rock for that one. I think it might be Dwayne. <laughs> There's a lot of planning and, and effort going into to making it happen, start at one point and go up to the other point and all the adventure in between. Too easy enough. Howdy partner. Huh. <laughs> there you go. Oh, we're just waiting for the boys at the moment. Um, we're down in Doubtful Sound. They're just dropping the truck and the trailer off that got us over the hill. So, yeah, thought we might as well have a quick walk around and show you what 
what we're up to. So we've got the 2250 Ultra Cab walkthrough uh, on this trip. So yeah, as you can see, like last time down Stuart Island, we had the um, Ultra Centre Cab. So quite cool, you could walk around and we had a nice platform up on the front to jump on and off. And yeah, well, of course, good fishing right around. But this one here, we've got the walkthrough cabin, it's quite neat. Yeah, as you can see, it's a pretty spacious cabin, this one. So uh, the ultra centre cab that we had last time was quite tight. You'd only want sort of three or four guys there max. Whereas this here, you can six or eight guys on a fishing trip would be pretty cool. And yeah, for a trip like we're doing, four guys is comfortable as, there's tons of room. Yeah, as the name says, this has got a walkthrough. So yeah, pretty interesting concept from Stabie here. And uh, on this trip, we'll give it a bit of a test. So it's pretty simple, steps there. Pop these out. Roll her back and pop out the front. Yeah, it's going to be pretty interesting this trip. We can pop out with the binos and search around pretty easy. Hopping on and off the rocks. It's going to be nice. So, yeah, pretty cool concept. I like it. It's pretty handy with this walkthrough. Good visibility. When we were going on the trailer earlier, it's quite handy to be able to look and see what's going on quite easily. Um, yeah, I quite like it. Well, we spotted a couple of deer up on the slip here. Um, just trying to figure out a plan of attack. They're not the easiest. Once we come around to where we can get off, we're not quite sure a shooting position where we can shoot from, but we could easily bump something on the way up the slip too. It's quite a nice looking spot. So just making a bit of a plan. It's springtime, so really good time of year to get them all coming out feeding in the grass. So yeah, not too much stress, we've got a couple more days. Oh, yeah, I've seen these deer up here again. I think it's the same ones, there might be four, uh, might be three up high there. We saw one on the beach before, do I There's quite a few deer here, it's good to see. They've got them there stuck up those yeah. trees. In through the bush, under there, and they're shooting yeah. up here. We weren't really expecting to be hunting straight away, but uh, so we got proper hunting clothes on the boat. But she's jeans and white gumboots at the moment. Just making sure there's not a sneaky one behind us here.
Guilty. Mate. Guilty. Fuck yeah. <laughs> uh, sweet, that was a good start, wasn't it? Well, that's for the uh, start of the trip off real good, isn't it? Mate. Easy little stalk up here. Took forever for it to come out though, didn't it? Shit, yeah, he was waiting behind that rock for ages, eh? Tested our patience. There was a few times I could have taken a dodgy shot, but yeah, it wasn't worth wounding one, so. No, that's cool. Venison down. Man. That's the old one for you. Yeah, mate. They work pretty well, eh? We, uh, Dwayne spotted it from down here. We were coming to look for the, um, the hut we're going to stay at tonight. There's this nice slip up behind us, and uh, Dwayne spied one. And then we managed to, what do we see, four or five? Must have been six, yeah, four, five or six. Yeah. Just bloody jumping all over the place once you shot yours. But. There was one on the beach, and we spooked one actually in the bush when we were stalking through, too. So, yeah, shit, there's some deer here. Any animals? Yeah, uh, yeah. Beautiful fjordland, eh? Hey. Oh, better yeah. go and get this thing, eh? Hey? Right, eh? Yeah, you there, Doug? Yeah, how'd you get on? You know, we got one. Good, tasty one. I think it's a, uh, maybe a year and a half old. So, yeah, should be good snacking. Good start to the trip. Good stuff. Are you going to leave it or are you going to bring it down? No, we'll bring it down. We'll probably actually um, go to the hut, eh? Doug's just whipping around the boat now to moor up near the hut and then get the fire going for us. Hopefully a bit of a feed on too. Right. Your camo clothing worked. Oh, Filthy bastard. I was gonna go right by your head, but I thought I'd better walk a couple more paces. Just drop the bomb. <laughs> there it is. Looks pretty bloody skinny to me. <laughs> that was the fattest of the bunch. Jim Duke. It's bigger than I thought. Those Might other be ones must have been a fair good size, eh? Yeah, must probably a couple of years old, eh? Yeah. To mature hind. Those other ones definitely looked older though, eh? And skinnier. Yeah. So we definitely shot the right nice one. Nice headshot. Sweet. We're just uh, trying to figure out whether we take it out whole or just the back stacks and back legs. Oh, that was a great result. Nice eating hind here, so first of the trip. That's my deer down, so. Hopefully the boys have a bit of luck later on. But yeah, definitely a good start first evening. I was in Nelson this morning. A couple of flights across a lake over a pass. Out the sound and yeah, we're into it. So, I mean, might even have some heart for dinner, I reckon. Right. Heaps of meat, we've got the heart for tonight. Good thing about heart is it's nice and tender, you can eat it the same night as you've shot it. We've got back steaks for the next day. We've got the two back legs we're carrying out and one front shoulder. The other front shoulder had the shot go through it, so it's a bit minced up, not worth us taking out. So yeah, we've got plenty of venison off that one, which is good. Utilise as much of it as we can. Gotta be stoked with that. Back to the camp. The good thing about heart is you can cook it the same day. Well, this thing's about an hour old, so she's good to go. A little bit of salt and you're away. <laughs> you got to pull those bits there, and then it sits flatter. And then you can um, stir it better. There you go. Look at that. See how it sits flat? Oh yeah. Look at that. Oh. Mate, now we're talking. Oh, back country instructional yeah, video. That's you. Still loving the beef curry. Oh yeah. Favourite of all time. Can't beat it. Oh 
I've just found three deer on this good slip up here, so. Whoppity or elk, and we've just come across a couple up here in a clearing. <laughs> 